Today we are going over this Kaipule Ceiling Mounted Z-Wave Plus PIR Motion Sensor. I was looking for a motion sensor for my rental unit and I wanted something cheap and good and this is the only thing I could find. Inside the box this is what you get, the units, ceiling mounts as well as some anchors not seen in this photo. It uses two AA batteries. There are some jumpers here, but I don't touch them at all. Just leave it alone. This is the Z-Wave pairing button. Once you insert the two batteries in, go ahead and start up Home Assistant so that you can add the device in. I'm using my mobile phone, so I'm clicking on this menu icon right here to open up the menu. Scroll all the way down to Configuration. Go to Integrations. Go all the way down to Z-Wave. JS and then click on configure. Click on add device, click on advance, and then click on legacy secure. On the device itself, press the pairing button three times one, two, three, and then it should add. There you go, it found the device and then it's taking its time. When you click on view device, these are the entities that you can see. There's the uh, motion, is it on or off? There's the tamper, and then there's the battery level. I don't like the anchor that was included, so I'm using my own anchors, and this is what mine looks like. Once that's inserted into the ceiling, it is very hard to be twisted around, because as you can see, there's a bunch of spikes, and that prevents the anchors from twisting or turning around inside the sheetrock. This is what it looks like once it's mounted. Again, I'm using my own anchor as well as drywall screws. Inserted the two batteries. So as you can see from the indentation right here, all you have to do is press it into the wall mount and then twist it to lock it into position. Once you hardwire it with five volts, you can actually use this as a repeater, a Z-Wave repeater. Pretty cool, right? For, I got it for 20 bucks and I can't believe that in the time that I bought it since it, it went up five six dollars this is a great device and i highly recommend it if you are going to use it for um, security or even uh, home automations whereby the lights auto turn on when motion is detected hopefully you found this review helpful i really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching